Welcome, sports fans. Thanks for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Minnesota Timberwolves going up against the Brooklyn Nets at Barclays Center. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And giving us the rundown from the sideline, David Aldridge. DA, take it away. Kevin, thank you. Kevin Durant is a champion, but he said, growing up, I never thought about titles. I just wanted to be the best player I could be. When I got to the league, I was listening to all the noise and it was taking control of my mind. For me, mentally, I have to just focus on my craft. Guys, the results have flown since then. Clearly. David, thank you. And let's check out the injury report. Five players unavailable tonight. Five players scratched from the game. If you're one of the healthy players, you're going to get all you can eat. And checking out Minnesota's opening lineup. The backcourt guards are Russell and Edwards. And go. it's uh, Torian Prince. Then there's Towns. And it's Vanderbilt in at the four slot. And for the Nets, the post pair, Durant, along with Griffin. Mills out there with Harden. And it's Bembry in at the three spot. Not every team has the personnel, Greg, to work the ball through the post. But that's what we're going to see plenty of tonight. And, and it can really add a dimension to your offense, Kevin, especially if you're able to pass out of double teams and hit guys who are open for shots. Russell passes to Vanderbilt. Towns down low, covered by Mills. They get it back. That one good for two. Towns has got the first basket of the game for the Timberwolves. Boy, good effort that time from Towns on the offensive board, ensuring that his team is able to end that possession with points. Edwards finds Towns. Off target with his three. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. And Kevin Durant signing an extension this past offseason. Locked in with the Nets for the next four years. Seems like there's a very good chance Durant could end his career in Brooklyn. Now here's Edwards. After the miss from KD. The drive by Russell. Rebound Brooklyn. Boy, patrolling the paint well, protecting the rim. That's exactly the kind of defensive effort you need against him. Prince wide open. Offensive rebound. Out to Russell. This one for three. Good on the three-point shot. Boy, Russell loves to take and make these quick trigger shots. He plays with a nice rhythm and flow to his game. Now here's Harden. One on nine left to play in the first. And that one, good. And it's all about the release when you shoot the float. Now, here is Russell. Here's the drive. Harden grabs the miss. Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration, even for a nanosecond. Got a piece of it. 43 seconds left here in the first quarter. The pass to Towns. And the dunk by Towns. Exactly what you want from your point guard. Nice dime to the open teammate by Russell. 36 seconds left in the first quarter. Harden dishes to Durant. Griffin sets the screen for Harden. It's hauled in by Edwards. Timberwolves leading by five. Out to the wing. Vanderbilt the pass to Edwards. Out that one. Composed and cool effort from Edwards inside. Not rushing himself or forcing a bad shot. Taking what's available. Durant kicks to Harden. Launches a three. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's Minnesota bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. Defensively, they have had their sights set on Kevin Durant. And they've done a terrific job holding him in check. Back right after this. Bang. Your Brooklyn 
And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stance for the Timberwolves? Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. And also, defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight, and, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. And Brooklyn, look at who they've got. We've got LaMarcus Aldridge, Membry out there with James Johnson. Then there's Carter, and it's Harden in at the point. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Harden. Reed finds Beasley. Five on the clock. Here's McDaniels. And the field goal percentage has dropped to the low 30s for the game. They have the lead, but that might change if they don't improve their shooting. There's the versatility of all just disrupting the shot, showing how valuable he can be at the defensive end. And one thing about Nas Reed, he knows how to play within himself. You're absolutely right, Greg. He doesn't force shots, rarely takes any shot that's contested. That's why his efficiency is so good. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge <laughs> from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. But the Brooklyn Nets are creating a fresh legacy. Kevin Durant says it's new energy. We're one of the first teams in Nets history where fans are expecting us to do good things. The basketball culture is deep in Brooklyn, and they're looking for a team to latch on to. Well, guys, it looks like they found a good one. I agree, David. Thanks. Now here's Johnson. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, she ate the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Here's Russell. Some solid defense from Aldridge. And it's Harden with the ball for Brooklyn. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Carter outside. Back to Harden. Aldridge with a screen on Russell. It's Harden with the drive, and it's Russell with the rebound. Timberwolves leading by five. McDaniels passes to Russell. Now here's McDaniels. One oh five left here in the second. Easily outside. Another miss by Minnesota. They have the Nets with possession. Johnson kicks to Harden. Pass to Aldridge. Back to Harden. And stolen by Russell. Passes to McDaniels. It's up a three. That shot missing. The Nets go the other way with it. Harder on the wing. Covered by Beasley. Goes up at the stripe. That one, no good. The Timberwolves have gone an abysmal 0 of 6 from the field since the second quarter began. Back to Russell. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Pass to Reed. Here's the screen. Beasley, the pass to Reed. Takes the assist and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. Reed's got the lead up to 7 now for the Timberwolves. with it and so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves heading to the bench with a seven point lead as we wrap up the quarter their defense has been terrific in this game it's time now to go courtside as we send you over to thanks a lot high turnovers in the first half James I'm sure that balls thanks for the great interview David and Just tuning in. Thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. 
Greg, you played on one of college basketball's all-time super teams. Hard to imagine we'll see that kind of dominance over several seasons like you guys had at UNLV. It's true, and we still see dominant teams, but, you know, the difference is now the, the most talented teams tend to only play together for one season. And so that makes it really hard to run together stretches where you can call yourself a legitimate dynasty. But I still love where our game is and look forward to watching these young men chase their dream. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, the backcourt guards are Russell and Edwards. Then it's Carl Anthony Town. And it's uh, Torian Prince. And it's Vanderbilt in at the fourth. You know, sometimes you just assume this shot is falling before it goes in. Durant's outside jumper is that dead. Minnesota leading by four. Outside, Towns. Back to Edwards. And finished off by Edwards. Oh, doctor. Oh, my goodness. Anthony Edwards throwing it down with force. Get this guy in the dunk contest. And that's life above the rim. Courtesy of our AT&T 5G slam cam. Third quarter. The pass to Harden. He takes it in, and he slams it down right on top of Carl Anthony Towns. And Harden, an absolutely vicious dunker. Terrific at bouncing towards the rim for the epic throwdown. Russell against Harden. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be on Blake Griffin. And when Towns is on the floor, the attitude of this team, Clark, completely changes. They play with so much more confidence. Yeah, I could not agree with you more, Kevin. He's a floor raiser. In other words, he makes everybody else play a little better and lifts up their confidence. And he does it while also putting up monster numbers of his own. First one falls for him. As a young man, Towns was as impressive as a student as he was as an athlete. I mean, he graduated high school with almost a 4.0 GPA, and in his last semester at Kentucky, he did have a 4.0 GPA, and that was studying kinesiology. That's no easy major, folks. Paul Millsap is checked in for Bembry. And Towns drops them both. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity, he's cashing in on those. to Harden. And stolen by Prince. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. Passes it to Lehman. Now Russell. Four on the shot clock. Takes a three. Rebound Brooklyn. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Here's Harden. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. His first foul. And Harden really looks like he's been having fun out there. I would agree with that, Kevin. And he says he's the same way off the court, too. I don't know him off the court, but he says he loves meeting new people. I don't have any trouble believing that. He enjoys engaging with kids and... Certainly the bright tennis shoes are part of everybody's NBA attire now, but he wears it as an expression of his personality. Free throw good from Harden. Yeah, and really an incredible playmaker his entire career. Uh, Harden has taken that up a notch, and he now often looks for his teammates first. Johnson, he's checked in for Brooklyn. The Timberwolves also changing it up. Akogi's checked in for Torian Prince. And it's Malik Beasley in for D'Angelo Russell. Harden hits them both. From six man his first few years to star player now, Harden's rise has been really fun to watch. He's willing to take on more and more responsibility each passing season. Edwards drives in. Hills with the rebound. Just one for four from the field, not the way they wanted to start the second half. To Millsap. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. That makes three in a row to start the second half. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. 
There's the pass to Towns. Pass to Okogi. Durant with the steal. For the tie. Doesn't go that time. Even with that miss, they're shooting 75% coming out of the break. That's a strong start to the half. Edwards looking it over. Here's Towns, and Towns throws it down. Nice read by Edwards there, finding a wide open teammate and sending the ball his way on target. One second left, and he makes that one. Durant's got five points now this quarter. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. Timberwolves ahead. They're up by two. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. And it's presented as always by State Farm. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. It's the fourth quarter crowd. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. We've got Lamarcus Aldridge out there with Mills, then there's Griffin, and it's KD in a small forward. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. That ties the game. Durant's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Nets. Beasley kicks to Reed. Edwards with it, and Griffin picks him up defensively. At every level, Edwards has been the go-to guy for his team. It's in his DNA. And so it's Harden bringing it up for Brooklyn. Pass to KD. Aldridge with a screen on Prince. Six feet out. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. His first foul. Well, you're scratching your head with how do you defend a guy like Durant. I mean, his length, his speed, ball handling, all allow him to draw fouls easily. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Timberwolves. The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. There's been an attack mode on the defensive end. Something that's also benefited them tonight are the turnovers they forced and the points that have come along with those forced turnovers. And he knocks down the first one. Hard to imagine Durant not going down as one of the great scorers this league has ever seen. As a matter of fact, that's a given, folks. Dynamic, explosive, and he's consistent year in and year out. D'Angelo Russell's checked in for Edwards. And KD drops them both. He's basically automatic from the line. Not the guy you want to send there now. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Despite the wiry frame, taking it up strong inside, and D'Angelo will get free throws. D'Angelo Russell. He throw good, Russell. As it's always good to see a young player start to mature in front of our eyes, and Russell has been that kind of guy. He's done a great job figuring out how to become a better leader. The Nets making a switch here. Embry's checked in. And so Russell hits them both. Brooklyn trailing. How about a minute played here in the fourth quarter? Two minutes to play. Fourth quarter. Griffin inside. Parted by Reed. Griffin dishes to Aldrich. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. At the line, shooting for Brooklyn. Lamarcus Aldrich. And out the line, shooting two.
He hits the first one, and that narrows the gap to one. Yeah, you know, it's kind of neat to see Aldridge take on more of a leadership role. He's somebody the younger guys can look up to. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Yeah, nice score. He does not waste those opportunities. Just what they needed with this game still in doubt. Here's Russell. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on James Harden. The size, the change of pace, the shiftiness of Russell. A hard guy to defend without foul. the first one and that gives them the lead. And so both free throws are good. And it's a two-point ball game. And that's big there. Once he got the opportunity to get to the line and take the lead, you have got to convert. Puts it up. And Aldrich the basket on the assist by Griffin. Aldrich has got four points in the quarter. Because he knows how to come through, you know exactly why they go to Aldrich in these spots. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Russell against Harden. It's Russell with the drive. And he banks in the late one. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. With the drive, right side Aldridge to take the lead. And the Nets, another three. Boy, Aldridge has a really nice napping rhythm with the catch and shoot opportunity. Minnesota. Durant checked in for Brooklyn. The Timberwolves also with the sub. Carl Anthony Towns checked in for Nasri. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey guys, here's what Chris Finch went over with his guys during the break. With this game in the balance, he really came after his guys. He said, this is our time. Right now, be in the moment with each other. Do your job, and I promise you, we'll win this game. Thank you, David. We get teachers for everybody. But we to give it up to the Dallas fans. You are up. Let's go. All right. Look who's coming up to the court. Come on. Get loud for your we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. KD with it. Now guarded by Tom. Somebody lit a fire under Kevin Durant. 55 seconds left in the game. Outside Russell. Over Harden. A shot that time. Not on top. And Brooklyn will now go the other way with it. Side, Kevin Durant. Vanderbilt with the rebound. Prince, the pass to Russell. A three ball. They grab their own miss. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game? Yes. Who wants the teacher? All right, look who's coming up to the court. Come on, get loud for sure. Brooklyn in. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Edwards is checked in. Here's Durant. 
And Carl Anthony Towns pulls it down. And that's an intentional foul. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. That's a good foul, though. I like that. The clock management at this time of the game. Shooting two. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And the second of two is good. That will put them up by two. And so it's Durant with it. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Sixteen feet away. Oh, off target. And so it's the Timberwolves who come out on top here. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for him. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. And that about wraps it up for Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Alden. This is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in as we present our New Balance Player of the Game, D'Angelo Russell.